I'm coming home, I've done my time. Now I've got to know what is and isn't mine. You receive my letter telling you I'll soon be free. I wonder what it'll be like for my father now that he's released from prison. If you still want me. People in school found out that he's out and they're making fun of me, calling me awful names. Second chances are hard to come by, especially for ex-offenders like me who are rejoining society. I know my son has had to deal with a lot of pressure with me being an ex-offender. I hope to make amends. My father's journey back to society was not an easy one. It was a trying period, not only for my father, but for my family. Fortunately, there were people who were willing to help us. I won't be where I am today if it wasn't for their relentless support. This is our journey. This is our yellow ribbon. And I sincerely want to thank you. As part of the Yellow Ribbon Culinary Program, the Yellow Ribbon Culinary Competition was jointly organized with Shatek Institutes. Progressing beyond the competition, the 18 finalist participants were selected to attend the Shatek Certified Training Course to enhance their employment opportunities upon their release. As finalists of the culinary competition, they also got the rare opportunity to dedicate their winning dishes to their loved ones during the Yellow Ribbon Tribute of Love Eat With Your Family Day Luncheon. This tribute of love allowed them to illustrate their gratitude for the relentless support received throughout their incarceration. I would like to actually dedicate all these dishes to mothers. I think my mom will be very touched. Uh, and I think my parents and my brother will be very proud of me and I will be very proud of myself too to actually present the dishes as tribute of love to them. On 2nd October, the inmate finalists got the rare chance to volunteer and cook for 500 beneficiaries brought by the Lions Club of Singapore at the Yellow Ribbon Tribute of Love Community Service Project to give back to society. It was most heartening news to learn that over 160 volunteers and ex-offenders from ISCOS and halfway houses also contributed to the event by serving the elderly and children during the event. I think the organizers have done a good job. And you can see their smiling face. And uh, all along when they move out from the hall, all of them thank you. And they are very happy with besides the events, the goodies, they are happy. I'm very glad to be uh, at the Tribute of Love luncheon and very honoured to be asked to speak at this event. And it has given me a chance uh, to tell the general public how ex-offenders feel and also our journey uh, in society and to ask for their acceptance. Over the years, art therapy has been found to be an effective tool in rehabilitation. Many inmates and ex-offenders discovered their hidden artistic talents through the Yellow Ribbon Art Competition held under the umbrella of Yellow Ribbon Creative Festival. Through their original artworks, they were able to express their most inner thoughts, feelings, and most importantly, reflections on their own lives. Hope can only restart when the community gives those ex-offenders who desire to change a blank canvas to start life afresh. Themed Restart, an eclectic mix of paintings and sculptures, were featured to depict resilience, self-awareness, transformation, adaptability, and reintegration into the community. This year, Yellow Ribbon Community Art Exhibition held for a second time at the Singapore Arts Museum saw a record of more than 3,700 visitors. Songs are one of the most powerful tools for inmates and ex-offenders to express their inner thoughts and feelings. Receiving more than 300 entries this year, the Yellow Ribbon Songwriting Competition saw many heartfelt entries from inmates who took the opportunity to express their regrets and their plea for forgiveness and acceptance. Community partners supported this event and Mr Lucas Chow, CEO of Mediacorp, graced this event as the guest of honour to support the Yellow Ribbon course. I think it is very important to continue 
uh, with this level of support, um, especially uh, when we are considering you know, uh, the role after this. Uh, I think without the family connection and the family support, uh, it will be even harder. But I hope that uh, both uh, our participants here and the family will continue to work together and don't give up hope with each other and continue with the level of support even after this journey. So all the very best. The act of wearing the yellow ribbon is an active display of the community's support in offering second chances and acceptance of ex-offenders. Each yellow ribbon is handmade by an inmate and it symbolizes their hope for forgiveness and acceptance. This year's Wear a Yellow Ribbon Activity Street Donation Day saw a record number of 1,660 volunteers across the island in garnering support for the program and more than $37,000 was raised. Themed Beyond the Run, this year's Yellow Ribbon Prison Run is all about giving deserving ex-offenders a second chance to start afresh. That morning, 7,600 runners braved the heavy rain to pledge their support for inmates, ex-offenders and their families. Featuring a unique run route, the Yellow Ribbon Prison Run sets a pace unlike any other runs in Singapore. Traversing past several historical sites in the Changi area, such as the Johor Battery, Changi Chapel Museum and the old Changi Prison Wall, where a carnival greeted the runners as they ended their run in the Changi Prison Complex. Two thousand three hundred and ninety two runners showed their support by wearing their yellow ribbon shoelaces and helping us set a new record for the most number of runners wearing yellow shoelaces in the Singapore Book of Records. Through the runners' contribution, more than one hundred and ten thousand dollars was raised for the Yellow Ribbon Fund to support programs and services for ex offenders and their families. The power of a simple yellow ribbon is changing the lives of many who seek to start life afresh. It is heartening to see so much support for the Yellow Ribbon Project to help inmates and ex-offenders like my father. For me, I'm just glad my father's finally turned over a new leaf and is home with us again. Dad, I want you to know that you're still my hero regardless of what has happened. It means a lot to me, sir. Thank you. To my son, I may be his hero. But for me, these people, and many others who have come forth to help ex-offenders like us, and believed in us, are my real heroes. This is a dedication to all of you who have made Yellow Ribbon Project 2010 a success. Thank you for making a difference in our lives. For my son, for my fellow ex-offenders, and for me.